Hello and welcome. Today we've got a uh, Proton Proton Rally car in the workshop. S2, S2000. Yeah, is it Satria Neo S2000 or something, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Not very familiar with these, to be honest. But familiar with yeah. the engine, though. Familiar with the engine. So <laughs> this has got it's an engine out of a uh, Mitsubishi Evo 10. It's probably not what these cars came with, is it? No. <laughs> no. Um, well, they are a car. So this is a R5 car, isn't it? Which is a fairly, um, fairly serious rally car. As you can see, it's kind of a proper build. I mean, the size of this suspension. You'll see the uh, the seats will be mounted really far back in the car. Nice uh, sequential shifter and bits on there. But it's come to us to build a manifold um, to suit a G25 550 turbo, which you can see down there. We're also going to fit. Da -da, zoom in on that with focus. There you go. Anti lag. So a fresh air anti lag valve to go on this car, too. Um, Jim, do you want to tell us about. We've got the manifold mocked up. So this is the fairly early stage of the process. Um, as you'll notice, the turbo is in the tunnel almost. I guess that's because, is that the anti-roll bar? That's the yeah. anti-roll bar, yeah, and it's, that's the gear linkage. But so, uh, no, if this is the customer one, you're right, yeah. Yeah, anti-roll bar, uh, gear linkage, for the obviously for the gearbox. We can't use our normal Evo 10 manifold because the turbo would be in the way of the anti-roll bar to start oh, this. The gear link is more. Make the standard one, the turbo would be under here. Oh, okay. So there's that. Uh, obviously we have to fit the anti-lag anyway to it. Um, but what's the logic behind putting the turbo back here rather than out to the side? Well, the, the customer wants the weight further back and lower. So if we were to have the turbo at the side, like the side, wind the style manifold, the turbo more weight up top, and he wants to try and get everything as low as possible. Um, he also, that's the position he wanted it in, so that's where we put it. Yeah, that's quite common in rally cars to be back there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, a lot of the, um, a lot of the other ones are like that as well. So. Yeah, so this is out and out performance, really. Um, for those who don't know, the turbos on these cars have to run a restrictor, which basically reduces the inlet size down. Is it 30, yeah. 34 mil on this yeah, one? Yeah, around that. 34 yeah. mil. Yeah. Um, so the cars don't run anywhere near their performance. Obviously, that's a 550 turbo on this engine. You, yeah, you'd probably get 500 horsepower out of it, but it's, I mean, they're going to what? 350? I think you said around that, yeah. Yeah, so you probably only get like 350. Uh, upwards of that out of this and it also has to run a catalytic converter as well sadly yeah uh, we'll talk more about that when we get to that stage but this is where we're at um so you've got it all mocked up jim yeah yeah so we have to weld it together now then yeah polish it weld it and then start on the uh i think pipes oh where's the wastegate go wastegate the wastegate's underneath so the waste kit goes underneath the turbo. And oh, the down. <coughs> yeah, you will, when we show you the down pipe, I'll show you. You, know, you can't really see it on the camera from it up here, but once I've got it all polished and welded it, I'll um, run you through the down pipe and the, it's going to be plumbed back in. Um, not not scream us too loud. <laughs> Causes uh, lots of heat. <laughs> cool, so let's take it off and weld it up then, I guess, now. Yeah, take it off, weld it up, and then go from there, really. So. Sounds good. Oh.
but the camera does. <laughs> um, finished, nearly. Yeah, finished, nearly. Yeah, we uh, just got to um, I've got to do a bit of porting, but I'll do that when I put the uh, all the anti lag pipes in, um, all the wastegate positions in, and everything. So it'll be fit up, find out where to put and lag valve the pipes, and then go from there. Really. I'm going to film you putting it on so you can stress. Oh no. <laughs> Alright. It's not that bad actually. It goes in pretty easy. You know, you come around here. It's like the amount of time you take it off, you work out the little way of swinging it around everything. Careful. Careful. That's the waste gate behind the um, anti roll button. Yep. I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, well, it goes underneath the down pipe then, and then the outlet then goes straight into the um, like in line with the down pipes, and you can get a nice. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. All about the flow. All about the flow. I mean, originally, when I first mocked up, it was going to be up here, but it just ended up working out where, this, where the turbo is at. There kind of work better down bottom. Right there. So, so is that boost pipe coming this way? <clears throat> come that way, yeah. I think. I think that's what their plan is. We're not actually doing the um the intake uh, or boost pipes or anything, so but yeah. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> fit up. I've got a rough idea where it's going to go, but it's um, might all change depending if we can actually get the pipes to where they need to be. So yeah, so that's using 19 mil OD pipe work. You typically use 16 for the six cylinder stuff. Yeah, yeah. even on the four cylinder. Yeah, typically 16. I mean, this is a um, this is the Turbo Smart collector that goes into it, but it is 19. That's the only reason why we're using it because that's the size tube. Mm -hmm. that they require for this manifold. Hi Jim, you've got a place for the uh, the valve now? Yeah, got a place for the valve, so I'm gonna go roughly around there. We're gonna do that on the bench because it's a lot a lot easier than well, as you can see the end of position yeah, makes it a bit easier. But yeah, we know we've measured roughly what the height is gonna be and then so the reason why we've chosen it here is because it's well, this is close to the turbo outlet and the pipe work between that and the outlet is is better so yeah, it's a bit <coughs> limiting try and get four of these in as well yeah. while keeping it compact yeah try and have it as compact as possible so it's easy to get in and out so these cars they take them apart quite often so the easier it is to do that the better really. Yeah, go to the bench and I'm sure you'll see the finished product. Happy with that position? Yeah, happy with that. Around there, she can still get to everything. Good. And so if you get a bit closer down there, you'll see how tight it is to get to the gas here. Might be easier. Actually off the car. Yeah. So that's all just tacked up in a minute. Jim is going to take it apart and weld it up. Yeah. So in 10 minutes time, we'll... Uh... <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, I went, welded the joints on the actual pipes and then put them in one by one, hopefully. Might put two in at the same time. Depends what mood I'm in. And then that's the manifold done pretty much, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. I got just got to put a um, EGT in there. Wasn't didn't want to put that in until I knew where this is because I thought that might have been around here, maybe depending. Yeah, I guess that's easier to position than the actual uh, yeah that's actual it. valve, isn't it? Yep. Oh, I'm back to the bench then.
Adrian. Yeah. Very happy. Mm, we've had some better effects on that smoke and stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that heat is off as well. So just before you do that, just, just, just before. So for anyone that's not um, familiar with this type of anti-lag system, these pipes are for air to go into the manifold and then so it comes through the valve so air comes from a boost pipe through the valve and it, into these pipes which then go into the cylinders and the reason we do that is that it can mix with basically the unburnt fuel that the engine management is going to send down there to create a combustion to help spool the turbo so effectively when you're off throttle you will have lots of boost yep. and, and lots and lots of acceleration which is why rally cars rally cross cars and things with pressure anti lag are, are so quick off the line yeah. so when, when they come off the throttle they still have boost there so when they come back on the throttle that's it. very fast very cool very loud <laughs> very, very exciting and dramatic right you're free to bit now cool it's all mocked up in place You've got the Garrett turbo there, the Turbo Smart Fresh Air anti lag valve, and the fancy pipe work that Jim made. Underneath, it's a bit hard to see. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. We've got the Turbo Smart wastegate underneath. This is the EGT probe in the, between the uh, yeah. left of the turbo there. That's there, uh, yeah. Hand from the sky is pointing out. Uh, that's a 6mm tip in canal probe from the shop. Um, strongest kind of probe you can get really um so that avoid it hopefully not melting off and going through the turbo which is all sorts less of, than ideal that's an idea yeah <laughs> um yeah and the brace do. underneath oh yeah so this one being a rally car where it gets bounced around the forest jim's made a nice little brace also as well because the turbo is hanging right back as well so it's normally up here isn't it where the yeah weight's so. near the engine but a bit more, uh, bit more force on the turbo. But it's a tough old manifold, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you got to do everything you can to make them as strong as possible. Yeah, yeah well, as anyone who's taken a manifold off before knows, it's a horrible job to take a manifold off. So if you don't have to take it off in the first place, to have it repaired, that's a, a bonus <laughs> rather than it being repairable. Yeah. We're good to go. Onto the downpipe now. Yeah, onto the downpipe. Jim is currently working very hard on the downpipe. <laughs> now, well, not a second. The obviously. sarcasm. Five minutes ago, he was working very hard on the downpipe. Yeah. If I don't say that, you won't get paid. So, because <laughs> <laughs> Michael probably watched this. No, I was, uh, yeah. Basically, this is a custom mount that he wants to utilise on the under tray. Yeah. And it's so a bit, it, yeah, it's a bit tight, and obviously, once that's up, you can't really. Uh, you can't really get to it. We haven't actually talked anything about the exhaust yet though. <laughs> so this exhaust on it um, came on the shell before they put the Evo engine into the shell. Uh, but they wanted to retain the ability to run this exhaust because I guess we've already got it. Well, we are going to make a new one, but I, I need to join way. together. Jim, what's all this about? Uh, that is for, so that's a slip joint, but it doesn't seat all the way in. So if there's a rear end and impact, it will then crash here rather than snap, the turbo. snap everything else. So no, I mean, this bracket here is has got a bend in it to make sure that it does bend. Uh, so drifters could learn a lot from this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah. the downside of them, they, they do blur a little bit. Yeah, there's not much you can do about that. But they don't, they're not too bothered about that. So. Just go fast and no one notices. Yeah. <laughs> so on the down pipe, have you done the pump? No. The, the no, I haven't got that far yet. So you can see the turbo, the flange of the wastegate goes. Do you want to put the wastegate in place? Yeah. So there. there. And then the, um, yeah, there'll be a pipe that comes out, goes into the down pipe, yeah. joins not before right. the flexi. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously that pipe will have a flexi in it as well. Yeah, so the bellow will be about here somewhere. And then it will then plumb back in 
Is that what you're doing now with it? Or? Yeah, I'm about to do that, yeah. Okay. So we have one complete downpipe with a nice plumb back, a shallow angle for all the power, uh, flexi joint. We've got a little um, bellows type flexi on the uh, plumb back of the wastegate as well, which is uh, to do the heat expansion. It obviously gets hotter and tries to move and prevent it cracking. And nice and straight. First V band joint. What are we calling this, Jim? Uh, it's a slip, just a slip joint, I suppose. Special slip joint. Anti smash. Anti breaking manifold. Anti smash things joint. to pieces device. And on here, nice little silencer. Take a few decibels off the overall sound. Up here, we have another V band and a very elaborate mount into the car. Another uh, slip joint. Anti smashing. Anti smashing phase. manifold slip joint. And we have the catalytic converter and tailpipe. Catalytic converter? This car has to have one. Yeah, for anything, can't it? It's got, it's got to have something. Uh, I think it's got to, well, I think it's got to be FIA approved, but which that is. So. Yeah, so this is a 100 cell FIA approved cap with a uh, five inch body. Comes with a certificate as well. Yeah, it's got a certificate and it's real. <laughs> um, should do, I reckon about 400 horsepower. And it's about the, probably one of the better ones that you can get really without spending insane amounts of money on it. Um, we put it at the back of the car because they work best when they're hot and obviously the back of the car is the coolest part of the exhaust although it's still quite hot and so it does less of the job of the cat back here basically creating less restriction so if we put the cat further down the car it'd have lower power yeah wouldn't it yeah probably wouldn't meet emissions <laughs> but <laughs> no, well, these don't really uh, have yeah. legit MOTs on them so of course yeah. they do, Jim. Yeah. Of course they do. They're friendly. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Off to, well, it's got to be finished. It's got a, you said it's got some mock-up engine in there at the minute, isn't it? I think so. I think that's what you said, yeah. I think it's a mock-up engine. It needs a lot of cleaning up to do, if it is. <laughs> yes. I'm sure it's not the right engine. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, I don't know if there's, I don't, I don't know if there's much more of the car actually built than this. It might be the huge box of the parts that aren't fitted to it that we haven't seen. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be awesome to see this ripping up the gravel sometime soon. Yeah. Yeah, sure. be good. Sweet.